while the popes demand, they demand that Jews and heretics cannot share in eternal life unless they are joined to the Catholic Church. Jews and non-Catholic Christians will go into the everlasting fire, eternal hell, which was prepared for the devil and his angels unless you are joined to the Catholic Church. This is what Pope, Pope Eugenius IV had to say about non-Catholic Christians and about Jews. In 1979, Pope John Paul, he reminded the Catholic community of the moral values that they held in common with Muslims. Muslims are emboldened and uplifted, thinking that they have a great spiritual partner. With the popes and the media and the Roman Catholics worldwide, standing united with Muslims and deceiving and lying to the world. Roman Catholics and Muslims are allied in a spiritual propaganda war against Christians and against Jews. Adolf Hitler did the same exact thing that the popes do and that Roman Catholics do themselves. Roman Catholics even joined up with Muslims in World War II, hunting down and killing Jews and Christians. Roman Catholics and Muslims are spiritually the same, the same exact spirit, same God. They serve the same exact God. The popes in the past have demanded, have demanded that Jews and non-Catholic Christians who are believing in God but yet are not Catholic, are going to burn in hell. And that they are serving another God, they are serving another Christ, their God is a liar, and their Christ is a liar. This was Catholic teaching. Catholics have changed their teaching because they can't keep up with the times. Saint Augustine, he said that heretics non-members of the Catholic Church who do not hold Catholic doctrine. They worship a God who is a liar and a Christ who is a liar. Another God. You serve and worship another God. This God is an evil liar just because you are not Roman Catholics. But today the Roman Catholics are declaring that Muslims, oh, they are serving they are serving, Muslims are serving our God while they celebrate their Pope kissing his Koran and praying with Muslims facing Mecca. Catholics and Muslims both have no Bible, no preserved manuscripts, no scriptures for their faith. Whatever they make up to fit with the current powers and wind direction of the age is what they proclaim as the current fact, power Control and survival of their Bible-hating religion is the most important thing to them. The Bible is literally their enemy, while they pretend to be a part of the biblical faith. From the current Pope, even back to Pope John Paul II, the message is the same. Tear down our freedoms and constitution and our capitalist American system and build up the Catholic Muslim worldview and power in the American system. And they pour and dump in their children who are born Roman Catholic or Islamic. They pour them into America. They dump them here. Worldwide, they manufacture and mass produce Catholic Islamic children and refuse to use birth control and expect you to pay the bill of raising, educating, and taking care of the new convert. They have no plans, no future, no money for these millions and millions and billions of poor innocent children. But they all need to be born, fed, educated, they live in hunger, disease, poverty, shame, and eternal handout. Their only purpose they serve is to be born Catholic, to be born Muslim, and to ask you for charity, aid, and help. And America is dishing out 
billions and billions of dollars of your money, your money, every year. You owe them and you will pay because you are not Catholic. You are not Muslim. You are not serving their God. You are a lower class and everything that you own, everything that you do belongs to the Muslim. It belongs to the Roman Catholic because they are the religious people and you are not like them and they are better than you. That's how they look at it. Most non-American Catholics and Muslims who are not Americans, most of them can never afford to do anything for anyone. Advanced education, real truth, and facts, fact-based reasoning, factual-based reasoning, is the ultimate and most deadly enemy of the Romantic Catholic Church. Birth control and responsibility is a working of satanic power to undermine their growth. Catholics and Muslims, they scream, fit throw, cry and kick and create artificial tears and shock mobs and make mob war, pretending that we are doing something wrong while well, they pretend that birth control is evil and that American capitalism is the problem. Pope John Paul II said that he reviewed the advances. He reviewed the advances, the setbacks in economic, social, and moral development around the world. The Pope said, the Pope said that he deplored the division of the Northern Hemisphere between the geopolitical blocks of West and East, of Marxist collectivism and liberal capitalism, and the intrusion of the largely extraneous conflicts into the Southern Hemisphere in the Third World. He placed his vision in the global perspective of the four worlds, moving toward mutual respect, solidarity, and collaboration to Christians, Jews, to the Muslims, as all heirs of Abraham, and to everyone of all world religions. What a bunch of garbage. The Pope wishes to deceive you by equating Marxism to capitalism, by equating Marxism and communism to capitalism, and stating that they both are the same evil, the same evil that are both destroying people's lives. Don't forget that these Roman Catholic Italians are themselves, literally, are themselves, literally, the Italian people, true Italians, are themselves Canaanite, Arabian, and Persians who have been mixed, who have been mingled, mixed with Germanic, Swedish, Finnish, Scottish, Nordic, Norwegian, Spanish, and French Europeans. That is what a true Italian is. An Italian is a Canaanite, Persian, Arabian, European. The white skin, blonde hair, and blue eyed European can call himself an Italian. But these pale white Caucasian Italians are simply Europeans mixed with just a little bit of Canaanite, Arabian, or Persian mixture. The Canaanite, Persian, Arabian race is the central makeup of all Italians and Latinos. The Latino and Italian hub, the sphere, the center, the sphere, the hub, the center, the common bond of all Italians and Latinos is the Canaanite, Arabian, Persian bloodline. Mexicans, anyone who's Latino, South America, anywhere on the planet, Italians and Mexicans, anyone who's a Latino, the Canaanite, Persian, Arabia bloodline is the hub, the common bond, the common blood that they all hold together. It is the hub, the sphere, the center of all the Italian and Latino bloodline, the central facet and bloodline bond, the hub of all Italian Latino people, Canaanites, Persians, Arabians, who are part European, Latinos, Italians. 
Canaanite, Persian, Arabians, mixed variations of European. Italians can consist of any type of European. Look to Mexico, Argentina, South America, and most Latino countries. They are called Latino countries, Latin countries, because they have a very strong Persian, Arabian, Canaanite bloodline. The Persian, Canaanite, Arabian bloodline is the core, the center, the hub, the sphere, all the Latino community. Latinos, they are Arabs, Canaanites, Persians, who are mixed matched with just about everything European you can imagine, from the lighter to the darker. The popes and Italian and European governments have been simply shipping the darker males out of Italy and out of the areas, the borders of Europe and the areas that they control. Special programs and relocation of refugees when they become too numerous. Darker males in Italy and Europe has been a challenge for the political structure. Just as there are no white kings in Africa, no German or English presidents in Mexico, no black popes, no black kings in Germany. When you look at someone who tells you that they are an Italian, you're looking at an at a you're looking at a Canaanite, Persian, Arabian, European, who is hiding or not expressing with great overabundance of explaining and joyfulness his full identity. Or they are just unaware. And most of them, not all of them, are filled with overflowing hatred for Jews and true Bible Christians. That's where you get the dark-skinned Italian, is a European in Italy who has been mixed, blended with Canaanite, Arabian, Persian races. When you look at the dark-skinned people who says, hey to you, I'm an, I'm an Italian, you are seeing a Canaanite, Persian, Arabian mixed with European blood. There are different historical timeline, genetic clashes of historical class creation, unifications of the creation of types of Italians. The process of the Catholic Church and Italian government is to allow Persians, Canaanites, and or Arabs to mingle just slightly and lightly into the European Italian culture, allowing selective controlled breeding, controlled marriages, and controlled offspring of Canaan, Persia, and Arabia. But only the lighter skinned Italians are able to obtain most of the positions of power and politics and wealth of power, but only the lighter skinned Italians are able to obtain most of the positions of power and politics and wealth in Italy. The lighter skinned Italians. There are no dark skinned European, Canaanite, Persian, Arabian popes. There are no dark skinned European, Canaanite, Persian, Arabian, Italian presidents or leaders, popes. There are no dark-skinned European, Canaanite, Persian, Arabian leaders in Italy. Never has been, never will be. They are very, very racist. All Catholics are racist. In fact, most people on the planet are racist. All people of the world are racist. You, me, everyone is racist. There's no need to hide your racism. Rejoice. Celebrate, smile, be proud of your beauty, of your own great, wonderful, beautiful black or brown or white people or whatever that you are. Racism is natural, normal, and it is instinctively nature, instinctive nature. There's no need to hide your racism. The black people in Africa do not want an India or a white king. Germans do not want a Chinese president. Japan does not want an Irish president. It has been like this for thousands of years. Most whites in America do not want a black president. They want a white president. It is okay. It is normal, natural and spontaneous instinct. In Africa, whites and Chinese are not allowed to be kings. In the Middle East, 
The Muslims do not allow Japanese kings. Catholics and Muslims, they are united as one body. They are made of the same race. The Italians are the Canaanite, Persian, Arabian, variations of European blood. Same race, same religion, same goals, and the same God. Same goal to control Jerusalem. That is one of their main goals. To hijack and pervert and deny and change, add to and subtract from the original Bible manuscripts and to control the God of Abraham and his people. They are even willing to fight one another over it. Christians and Jews are in a losing battle here on earth. But the facts, the undestroyed evidence, and the inability to completely destroy the Jews and their manuscripts is the only thing keeping these Catholic-Islamic forces from winning and achieving their goals and war and achieving victory. Muslims do not translate the Bible and the Roman Catholic Church does not translate the Bible into another language. They don't do that. That's not what they do. The Catholic Church for 2,000 years almost did not translate the Bible into another language. The old Latin language was Fargo, declined, deteriorated, and omitted from the Italian government. The Catholic Church never produced a single translation of the Bible for nearly 500 years after Christ. The Bible in its original meaning and form is the last thing that Catholics and Muslims and many Protestants want. But they will worship and celebrate and make eternal unlimited copies of their translations and variations of the scriptures to put in every drawer and every shelf on the planet, but spit upon and reject and ignore and deny the original message of the Greek and Hebrew manuscripts.